they are not for eating. What about their legs? They don't need those. Just a mouthful. No! <laughs> Looks like meat back on the menu, boys. Many Uruk are dying. What are your orders, Lord Father? Shall we sound the retreat? Nam Kibakai. Kinam Shubakai. When did orcs become such pussies? Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! Presenting the short bus veteran! So I just recently watched the newest episode of Rings of Power, and there was just something in there. And I, I'm hate watching the show, or at least trying to. I don't even know why I'm really watching it at this point. I don't think I'm gonna make any other content besides probably maybe this one video. There was something in this episode that I see as more of a trend happening in other things. Uh, not to mention just how bad it shows orcs as a depiction in Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings universe. Where in Lord of the Rings, these orcs have always been kind of depicted as, no, they always have been depicted as pure evil. Not that they have a troubled past that turned them into these uh, evil and that it's not just that they're uh, creations of pure evil. This is another example of where we have somebody attempting to use gray morality in storytelling and just completely effing it up in just the, in a bastardization. Gray morality is when a character is doing something where you can see that it is neither bad nor good. Think more like Thanos when he did the snap, it was to allow people to prosper, and they showed examples of that in the Endgame movie, right? Uh, but of course, obviously doing so, he killed trillions and trillions of people, so there was good and there was bad. I think most people say it as ultimately being bad, but that is gray in a sense. There are typically only two types of orcs. We have more the Tolkien-esque depiction of orcs, where they are essentially demons, embodiment of evil. Then we have something more like World of Warcraft, or just Warcraft, where we have these very brutish characters that are still held up by honor. So they're not the most evil, but they will be more like savages. But in almost every depiction, orcs aren't pussies. It's kind of this whole thing where the popularity of D&D is starting to bleed into everything. Where what D&D kind of has turned into is that you're playing these different races of or elves or orcs or uh, tieflings or whatever. And it's really just a skin color difference. The orcs are just people with tusk. And none of these characters are bound by anything uh, of them being a different race it is a fantasy race we're not talking about and what they're trying to do people being different sc skin color <laughs> like they're they're like oh this is a different race we must be talking about race as in white black and asian no <laughs> we're talking about a different species in this fantasy stuff there's this weird obsession with trying to relate orcs with black people uh, as of recently, I think I showed the image already, they were trying to relate orcs to Mexicans. I am not sure where this comes from. This seems incredibly racist to think that orcs are a depiction of black people. Uh, like, maybe they're saying like, oh, well, if elves are white, that must make the orcs black. I don't know how you come to that conclusion. But there is this, like, weird thing where in media they are trying to reinforce that. Now, if you've read Ready Player Two, which I highly don't recommend. I recommend the first book, loved it, but the second book was god-awful. And there's a whole scene where they show that even though he's an egg hunter, and he knows that the guy who created the world that, you know, has the potential key to trillions of dollars, loves Lord of the Rings, and he never read the Silmarillion for some reason, uh, so the black character in that movie, the woman, she has read it. So she's kind of the key to this one part in this section of Ready Player Two, uh, because they're in a Lord of the Rings world. In order to get uh, accomplish this part of the the task or whatever, I don't remember. Uh, she needs to be there to inform the main character about the Lord of the Rings world because they're in like the first age, I believe, in that part of the book, and. After uh, harassing him for saying that he doesn't, you know, didn't do the research on 
uh, Tolkien like he should have. She then goes on a tangent about how racist Tolkien was and how that the orcs are depictions of black people. Which is insane! I don't know where you're getting that from. That you must be incredibly racist to come up with that. I find it boring in movies when you have even humans. When they're in these different living conditions, different worlds, and and their culture is kind of just the same <laughs> as every other culture. Like, no, if people are living in different types of environments, that's going to affect how their culture is built. The people aren't going to be all the same, and that's kind of what this D&D stuff is doing. It's making everyone the same, and it's so boring and gray. It feels now like the, the, you just have orcs that are just people of tusk. Like, maybe they're a little bit angry, maybe they're a little bit stronger, and it's just so boring. It's so entire, incredibly boring. Even so, in any depiction of a different game, movie, book series, whatever, the lore for an orc, have we ever seen them depicted as such pussies before? I'm not to saying that the, the writing wasn't on the wall for Rings of Power, or the writing on the wall isn't coming into other genres, and that's why I bring up D&D, feel, like I said, it's starting to spill into different things. Or we're just having them be like normal people. He, the clip I showed was him, this orc that you know cared for his family, which is whatever. But like, in what orc world are the orc women not capable of battling too? I get this one had to like protect its child, but it felt like it was just a, a you know a feeble woman with her child, and he's like, I we can't go to war. Like what 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 orc is gonna be? Not wanting to go to war, never mind Tolkien's orcs. Like I said in this clip, that this there a troll comes in and he's scared that some of them might die. Not, like as if they're not all these orcs aren't already in a battlefield dying. Oh no, a troll's gonna come in and beat some more. And not to not to mention like all of these depictions of orcs. They'd be like, okay, if he's just if an orc dies. Uh, in combat, it's either honorable or he died like a pussy. <laughs> and and uh, even if it's not really uh, described or seen as what they did as dying as a pussy, that's usually how their culture would perceive something like that because they, you know, th like the War Warcraft depictions of orcs, they're so honor bound. So for them to be scared because one of their allies is just really strong, to be like, oh no, we might he might kill some of our own people. Who cares? That you're going to die in war. Like, I look at this orc and see how he acted. And I don't see how this character is an orc past the fact that he's ugly and uh, he, you know, makes noises. Like, <laughs> and not to mention the fact that this orc, apparently, he's right next to the lead guy. So he's he should be uh, in a higher position as what they're kind of showing us. And people in a lower position aren't going to try to, like, call this guy out for a pussy. I can just imagine in any scenario, if a, if an orc acted like this in any, take any fantasy world, all the orcs will be just salivating to just tear this guy's head off and just take his position. I don't see how that wouldn't be done that way. So stop writing things so boring in your stuff. And then this goes for anyone writing a story. You know, make, make your people different. Make your... Especially your fantasy races, species, different. Give them something that makes them say like, oh, this is not a fucking human with a different skin color or fucking larger teeth. Stop being so fucking boring. Hey guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Because if you subscribe, you get to join me in the Autistic Warriors, where we're all retarded. And it's not to say that you're not retarded before the subscribing. It's just you're not in denial anymore. So you're not a fucking loser. And you're probably not a pussy either like these fucking orcs. Cruising down the highway.